This episode is made possible by Tab for a Cause. Install the free browser extension and start making a difference today. If you were asked to picture the Earth, what would come to mind? Probably the color blue. There's a good reason for that. The surface of the Earth is composed of over 70% water, 71% to be precise, which means that humans are left with 29% of the Earth's surface to call their own. Water is an integral part of life on Earth. The world's oceans support somewhere between 1 and 10 million diverse species of plant and animal life, all of which rely on their watery home to survive. And these species in turn support humans by providing huge quantities of food to populations around the world. According to current scientific understanding, water is necessary not only for continued life, but also quite possibly for life to have begun on Earth in the first place. With that in mind, what would happen if the planet's oceans disappeared overnight? The most immediately noticeable change after the oceans vanished would be the massive stretches of sunken ground where water used to be. Without oceans, 71% of the Earth would become an enormous expanse of canyons. These canyons would be so deep in some places that it would be the equivalent of looking down at the ground from the window of a commercial jet. Unfortunately, we wouldn't have much time to admire our new scenery, because the ocean performs several very important jobs, and with all that water gone, things would get very bad very quickly. One factor to consider is that marine plants produce over 70% of the planet's oxygen, far more than terrestrial trees and other plants. If the ocean suddenly disappeared, all the world's marine plants would go with them. This would not only drastically reduce the amount of available oxygen in the atmosphere, but also severely impact the planet's ability to process excess CO2. Since carbon dioxide is already one of the main culprits behind climate change, the massive decrease in CO2 processing ability would contribute greatly to warming the planet at a much faster rate. Besides supporting the majority of oxygen-producing plants and providing over 3.5 billion people with their primary source of food, the world's oceans also perform the critical job of regulating the planet's temperature. Large bodies of water like oceans are very effective means of absorbing and distributing solar radiation. Currents circulate warm water from the tropics to the north and south and bring cold water back to the equator, distributing heat energy in a manner that keeps any one area from becoming too hot or too cold to support life. The oceans also allow for the existence of what we call the water cycle, the movement of water from the ocean to the clouds, often traveling many miles before falling as rain on land or back into the ocean. Like the movement of currents, the water cycle also provides more even heat distribution. Without oceans, all of this goes away. The equator would be scorched into oblivion. With rain virtually non-existent, much of the Earth would transform into barren deserts. Trees, plants, and grass would become so dry that fires would spring up across entire continents, causing countless deaths. Of course, the fires would also have a secondary effect. Without marine plants to help filter out the huge amounts of CO2 being produced by the worldwide fires, the planet's rise in temperature would continue to accelerate, with greenhouse gases building up and trapping the sun's rays. One study suggests the planet's average temperature would creep towards 153 degrees Fahrenheit, forcing entire populations to migrate to Antarctica, the last bastion of livable temperatures on the entire Earth. For the small numbers that managed to make it to Antarctica, the outlook would still be very bleak. As temperatures around the world rose, humans would have to spend their days hurriedly constructing underground shelters and storing ice and water from glaciers and snow before it melts and evaporates. Of course, building these underground bunkers and storehouses would only be possible if some of the fleeing humans had the presence of mind to bring along industrial construction equipment and huge amounts of supplies. As unlikely as that would be, assuming we did manage to construct an underground building large enough to support, say, several thousand people, could we survive in the long run? Probably not. Back on the surface, all plant and animal life will have been wiped out, and the raging fires will have caused the atmosphere to become unbreathable to humans. With no way to return to the surface safely, and no way to restart a healthy carbon cycle, all we would be able to do is watch our supplies slowly dwindle to nothing and wait for the end. A world without oceans would be completely unlivable to anything but the hardiest extremophile bacteria. Not a very pleasant thought. Luckily, the oceans probably aren't going anywhere anytime soon, and certainly not overnight, so we really don't have to worry too much about an entire world without water. That being said, there are many places around the world where clean drinking water simply isn't available. If you want to help, take two seconds to install the Tab for a Cause extension for your web browser. Tab for a Cause is a browser extension that donates to a charity of your choice each time you open a new tab, without costing you a thing. 
Just by browsing the web, tabbers have now raised more than $400,000 for charity through Tab for a Cause. Installing the extension takes almost no effort and lets you make a real difference every single day just by using your web browser. Click the link in the description to start tabbing for your cause today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch these next. Remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest content, and if you're tired of learning, come watch me play games with a friend on my new gaming channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.